In this video, I'm going to teach you how to show FPS with Riva Tuner. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. You can easily display your FPS and other information about your system while gaming in a very concise overlay. So, to enable this, you actually need to go into MSI Afterburner. So, even though Riva Tuner will be downloaded alongside MSI Afterburner, you won't do the FPS overlay inside of Reba Tuner. You will do it on Afterburner instead. So open Afterburner and in here, go over to the settings of the app. So choose settings at the left side of the screen. Now inside of the settings, go into monitoring and in here you will have plenty of options to monitor. What you are looking for is frame rate. So either look for frame rate or FPS. Make sure that you don't choose frame time because that's not going to be FPS. Once you find frame rate, first click on it and the line will be highlighted. Make sure that it is enabled, so click on this little checkbox icon or check mark, sorry, if needed. Once it has been enabled, then you can select it and choose the option to show in on screen display. So this is how they refer to the overlay that's going to appear when you are inside of a game or an application. So make sure that it is enabled like this. With frame rate enabled with the check mark next to it and showing on the on-screen display you are basically good to go you can change it between text and graph so if you prefer to see a visualization you can change it to a graph or you can change it to text and graph whatever you want most people just set it to text because it is nicer to see the numbers make sure that you apply the changes the last thing to do is to set up the on-screen display so if you haven't set up the overlay already go to on-screen display and you will see the key binds here so in this example here you can toggle the on-screen display by pressing six on the numpad four on the numpad to show it and five on the numpad to hide it you can customize these keys to whatever you wish and once you are inside of the game and you press that key you will see the fps here so it is going to be displayed and you can add plenty of other options so for example you can add the cpu usage the cpu speed the temperature voltage and so on but the main one is always going to be fps so i hope i was able to help you if this video helped you please consider subscribing as you can see 83 percent of the people watching our videos are not subscribed by subscribing you can help us make higher quality videos thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one